You radicals! You radicals want all out revolution? You got it. I saw this this guy up on stage and the light was all around him and he had long blonde hair and he looked just like an angel. And there was this lead singer uh, with long white blonde hair, dazzling showman. Well, my earliest experience was that I was on Capitol Records and I opened for The Doors and Jefferson Airplane, Janis Joplin, Hendrix. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. I thought, well, there he goes, you know. He's going to do songs about Jesus. That's great. He was starting to actually develop this musical, spiritual hybrid. He was trying to shake up some of the more comfortable middle class or elderly professional people that were made up most of what the congregation was. It's like he went, you know, 50 yards up the beach and stuck the flag in and said, okay, now everyone else, follow me. It just held all kinds of promise for what could be accomplished and it, and it was so needed at that time. I just remember that piercing stare. I felt like it was as if Jesus himself was there. He, he kind of carried himself that way. And then Larry called me and he said, I just was able to create my own company called Solid Rock Records. He was a performer and I used to watch him change from like night and day. He goes into that Brian Wilson world. He is your one bona fide loose cannon nutcase. And Larry broke up our family. I think there's no other way to put it. Trouble coming. I just gotta get away. Wasn't the devil has all the good music. Why is the devil singing the music? And I felt so stinking betrayed. I just went, how can you do that? How do you not get this? You're the guy that led me to the Lord. How could you do that? Ha, ha, ha.